A South Texas man was arrested this weekend after he drove down to Alice, allegedly to have sex with an underage girl. Action 10 News reporter John Rapola was in Alice today. He is now back live in our studio for us tonight, John. Yeah, hey, Drew. On Friday night, a man who makes a living around young boys and girls was arrested for attempting to meet and have sex with a young Alice girl. The story begins with social media. Is this the face of an online child predator? Jim Wells County detectives say yes. 37-year-old Daniel Marcus Valdez arrested in Alice Friday night for online solicitation of a minor. It's a very serious and sensitive case. Jim Wells County Sheriff Daniel Bueno said Valdez began conversing with an Alice teen girl through Facebook Messenger. About wanting to meet her, wanting to visit with her. And then detectives say he started sending her pictures through Snapchat and Facebook. Nude pictures. That's all we can say at this time. The Jim Wells County Sheriff's Office was notified. Using an online decoy, detectives knew Valdez was serious about meeting and having sex with the underage girl. He traveled to Alice from San Antonio Friday night. Detectives set up this apartment complex as the meeting place. So when Valdez came here on Friday night, he wasn't greeted by a young girl. Instead, he was greeted by Jim Wells County detectives. And this is a picture of his capture trying not to show his face. Valdez is a gym teacher and a coach at an elementary school in San Antonio and also teaches in Austin. He was suspended this morning after his school received a phone call. At 8.15, we had already placed a call to San Antonio to let them know what they had in their campus. Alice's parent, Sky Hernandez, heard about this case. She says it's a social media wake-up call for her and her children. We not let them get on those those sites and make sure that um, keep a better eye on, on what they're doing. Yeah, parents echoing similar concerns tonight. And Alice, now the young teen is doing just fine. A little shaken up from the whole experience. Detectives tonight looking to see if Valdez has done this before, preying on young girls using social media. Live in the studio, John Rapolo, Action 10 News.